Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we are here with a birdhouse guide for old school runescape in my endless adventure to make as many guides as possible. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure to leave a like. Also have plenty of places you could check myself or the community out down below in the description. Would appreciate that greatly. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into the guide. So to start, why should you do birdhouses? For one, they provide hourly profits, which are very good. They're also very good to pair with herb runs for that reason, because they both take about the same amount of time. So it's something that you can kind of throw in there to add some additional profit to your bank account. And then beyond that, they also provide somewhat passive hunter XP. It's not entirely passive because you have to go and do it, but the XP is insanely good for the amount of time that it takes you. So it's kind of stored up over time. As far as what you're going to need to be able to do birdhouses first is Bone Voyage the Quest. Before that, you'll also need to complete the dig site quest to be able to even do Bone Voyage. And this unlocks Fossil Island for you, which is the place that we will be doing these birdhouse runs at. In addition to that, the dig site pendant is a huge unlock that you can go ahead and get. You're going to have to unlock that via cleaning museum finds until you find a ruby necklace. Once you've done that, then you'll have the ability to turn ruby necklaces in the future into dig site pendants, which will teleport you all over Fossil Island. Next, we have all the birdhouses that you can go ahead and use and what levels you need for them. Keep in mind that all of these birdhouses require a crafting level of the hunter level provided plus one. So basically up all of these levels by one. And that's what crafting level you're going to need if you want to make them. You could just buy them from the Grand Exchange in theory, so you don't necessarily need that. However, if you're an Iron Man, that's going to be a necessity. The higher the birdhouse, the more nests you'll get and the more XP you'll get, and we'll talk about that now. As far as the average nest, it spans anywhere from two to nine nests, depending on which one you have available. So each of these upgrades are going to be vitally important. Also, in addition to that, the higher your hunter level is, the more seed nests that you'll get, and that just goes up over time, so it's a gradual scale. And the seed nests are really where the profit's at. The regular nests and the ring nests aren't that profitable, so the higher the hunter, the better you'll be off. Then for the XP per hour provided from the birdhouse runs, that can range anywhere from 50k to 225k. Now, keep in mind, you're only going to be getting a small percentage of this every hour, and cumulatively, it will add up to this over time. However, for the lower level, Levels, this is better than any hunter leveling method that you're going to have out there by a mile. For some of the higher levels, it's not as impressive, but it's still really good. And if you like doing hourlies or daily methods, then it is really relaxing in that sense too. Now onto the gear and the inventory. So for the gear, I bring a full graceful set. You don't need it, but it is helpful, saves your run energy. Beyond that, I usually gear up for an impending farming run, so you don't need the Chronicle, the Skills Necklace, or the Magic Secatures. I just bring these because I'm going to need them for my herb run. The Skills Necklace is a good teleport to the farming guild right when you're done with your run. And the Chronicle is also useful for the herb run, so you don't have to worry about that if you don't want to. But if you are going to go ahead and use it, then those are nice additions. For the inventory here, you're going to need to bring some sort of hop seeds. The best at the moment is Hammerstone. The other ideal ones at the moment are Barley, Asgarnian, and Jute Seeds. All of these are very, very cheap, this being about 3 GP a seed. Beyond that, I bring a clockwork mechanism that you can go ahead and use on your logs to make the birdhouse. I also bring a hammer and a chisel that is needed to do that process, as you can see right here. Then I have a dig site pendant to teleport on over there, and I have a rune pouch to get away if you are someone that's not bringing a skills necklace. Typically, I wouldn't bring this, but other people might. You probably want to teleport to your house or maybe Varrock or Camelot, whatever is your most useful destination. But with that said, let's go ahead and head on over there. So I'm going to teleport teleport to Fossil Island using the second teleport on this necklace. If you don't have that already done, the way to get that is to make your way on over here through the Fossil Island area. So basically just take the boat on over, then run through here, up and over, and then go all the way up here. And once you're in this house, then you can go ahead and use this dig site pendant on the strange machinery around here. And upon doing that, it will allow you then to have this teleport that will take you right here. This teleport's really useful because from there you can use this magic mush tree. The main ones that you're going to care about is the Verdant Valley and the Mushroom Meadow. This works much the same as the Dig Site Pendant in the sense that you can't teleport there until you've activated these trees. The first mush tree that we'll be teleporting to is on the southeast side of the island right here. To get there, you just have to do a little bit of running around through this area and then go on in and activate it. And the other one that we'll be teleporting to is right up there. So neither of those are too difficult to get to. And once you have the teleport activated, then you'll be good to go. So let's teleport to the first location. I already have a magic birdhouse made. So I will go ahead and empty my birdhouses from before and plant the new ones. Once the new one's planted, then throw the seeds on in. Typically when I'm on my way to the next birdhouse, I will make the impending one that I want to use after. So just like that, you can quickly go ahead and disassemble and reassemble. Make sure you put your seeds in afterwards and then you can run on out of here. From there, go ahead and press number four 
and you'll go down to the mushroom meadow. To the north, you'll see the first birdhouse down here, right in this little corner. Uh, go ahead and make yourself another birdhouse again and get yourself ready. And that will be the third of the four total. So from there, go ahead and run south. And once you get done with this long stretch of running, then we'll be at the final one. It really is a, a very easy hourly to do. And as you can see, the magic birdhouses, we're getting me about 1.1k XP per. So it's like a free 4.5k XP. And in addition to that, usually you get a lot of bird's nests. I've gotten very few on this run. So not a, not a great example, but still, it's just some easy money, easy uh, items too for an Iron Man if you need that as well. But once you do that, then you're good to go. And in another 50 to 60 minutes, you'll be able to do another run just like so. But yeah, that's going to be it as far as this birdhouse guide goes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you guys want to see more videos like this as soon as I go live, make sure to subscribe. And also I have plenty of places you can check me out down below in the description. But with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and uh, peace.